Turns out there's way more to Sea of Thieves than meets the eye. Let's talk about a secret island and a possible hint at the Kraken right after the drop. So what's up everybody, how's it going Lagundo here, welcome back and today we're talking about a secret island in the Sea of Thieves beta. It's still running for at least one more day so you'll be able to go and check this out yourself. Hopefully it makes it to the main game as well because some secret uncharted islands like this are pretty damn awesome. Now before I get started I gotta give a shout out to Captain Jack and the guys over at the Crow's Nest for initially discovering this island and putting it on the map so to speak. Go check out their channel. They're an awesome Sea of Thieves focused channel. They just do Sea of Thieves content and they've been pretty quick on the draw with some other things like this. So go check them out, give them a follow, and let them know that I sent you. But very quickly, let's talk about this hidden island in pretty much the middle of the map. Island is located at the intersection of KL14 and 15, right where those four sectors meet. There's two small islands with not a lot on them. There's none of the painted ritual stones, there's no landmarks, and there's no intro as you sail up. In fact, most of the interesting things about this island are actually underwater around it. There's multiple shipwrecks, a huge coral reef with these different egg-like structures that are sitting around everywhere. One of the most important things is these unknown sort of architecture, almost Mayan or Aztec looking pillars and arches that are hidden and dotted all throughout the area around the map. There's two main things here. This one arch that has almost what looks like an altar or a table underneath with a triangle on it. I wonder if setting a chest there, or maybe a specific chest, or one of the items that we're supposed to collect for the treasure hoarders, could possibly set something off in this area. Or if this island could be the start for some other faction's quest line, or possibly even the start for some sort of raid activity would be really interesting. And the reason I say that is, not only do we have these lost civilization architecture right here, but if you jump off near the northern side of the islands and swim down and you're gonna have to swim down for a while you see this huge snake-like skeleton almost like a gigantic eel of some kind now we've seen these skulls on a few of the other islands specifically on a few of the strongholds that are manned by other skeletons usually in some sort of central place of like it almost looks like worship or it's the town hall of the stronghold so maybe these skeletal beasts or whatever they were before they became skeletons are really important and could possibly be our hints towards the kraken. Now kraken is normally mostly a squid-like creature and not a random sea snake but if we have the skeleton for one larger monster there's nothing to say that other larger monsters aren't also on the horizon or under the surface. And considering the kraken has been confirmed in the recent data mining post from Sea of Thieves which we're going to talk about a little bit later this week, that's pretty much guaranteed. All right, what do you think about this, and have you found any other secrets in Sea of Thieves? Any other uncharted islands or lost landmarks? Any more of these hidden sort of really weird ancient looking structures i'd love to know if you came across anything and as always you know what to do like the video if you like it dislike it if you hated it subscribe for some more sea of thieves news and analysis here on the channel oh i can't wait until the full game releases and i'll talk to you next time